Bible says in 2 Peter chapter 1, verses 20 and 21, let me read it to you. 2 Peter chapter 1, verses 20 and 21, knowing this first, that no prophecy of Scripture is of any private interpretation, for prophecy never came by the will of man, but holy men of God spoke as they were moved by the Holy Spirit. And so what Paul, or what Peter is writing here is that the Scriptures are nobody's opinion. Scripture is the Word of God. The Holy Spirit took the writers, the authors of the New Testament, and he superimposed supernaturally himself in their writing. It's kind of a trip, right? Because if you look at the writings of the New Testament, you see the writers' personalities come through. You see Paul. He was an avid sports guy, right? He talked about boxing in the air, shadow boxing, right? He talked about the race that he was running. The author of Hebrews does the same thing. And so you see the different likes and dislikes of those personalities come through. And yet the Bible is literally God breathed. And the way I picture that is it's like being used by God today. If you are a vessel of God, if you are wide open to God and say, God, I am your vessel. I want you to pour in me so that you can flow through me to other people. And that's exactly what God does. If we are open and available to the Lord, then God go, pours in us so that he can flow through us to other people. We are what? The body of Christ. So God is the head. He's the brain. He's instructing us, guiding us, leading us. And we are the body. We are what? His hands. We are his feet. We are his mouthpiece. We are his listening ear. We are his arms that embrace and bring in. And so we have an opportunity to be used by God just like the authors of the Bible were able to be used by God. 